Good afternoon, Mike Schworsky here. You might say, hey, that guy looks familiar. You're probably thinking about my brother Bob, who's a super fan for a certain team known as the Bears. Anyway, Mike here, and I'm in San Diego, and I'm going to show you how to screen your worms out of your worm box and get nothing but the good stuff. You can see I've got my dirt and my worms here. It's real simple. You lay it out, and I'm kind of in broad daylight, not too much. You see some of the scraps, which I'm going to clean out, though. You simply cover your box, because what? Worms enjoy dark, wet, safe. So I expose the box a little bit to the sun, and sure enough, all the worms that are there will go there. I take that dirt out, and I'll move this over here, and all the worms will go that way. And that's the simplest way to screen out, clean out your worms. I'll come back in about 10, 15 minutes. Boy, this is fun. Mm. Okay, now here we are in the worm box. Take a gander down here. You can see it's empty, because I just emptied it in three different buckets, and we're going to change it out, and that's what I'm doing over there on the table here. This is compost, and it's kind of a mess because I got all the tools from building my worm box. But if I show you real quick, this is just this is just what I've done, and it makes it easy on me. These are blocks that are going to hold up the screen board. Now they're just going to stay there for now because while I'm building it. At any rate, once I fill that up with the worms bedding and the worms and the food, it's full of holes, a screen board. This will go on top and it will rest on those blocks. And the new food will be on top of this board. And all the <clears throat> worm leftovers, the, uh, the castings and whatnot, will stay there. All the worms will come up on top of the board and get the new food. And once I fill that up and they've eaten that food, why I take the board out and uh, remove the bottom castings for my nuclear strength uh, fertilizer. So as you see, you just literally tear up your cardboard, your shredded paper. Getting a little ahead of myself here. Uh, once that's a sufficient layer, then the worms that I'm about to clean out from the from the box over there. We'll go back in here, along with some other food, we start the process over. <laughs> Isn't this fun? Yeah. Okay, go. So let's see what we got here. A little bit of time. I mean, we're talking literally minutes, and there's no worms. So we'll take our bucket. And not, not all this is castings, as you guys can see. But I did this to get my bottom layer of castings, which this bucket here, all castings, all of it. Same with that bucket and another bag we've already done. Whoops, there's a worm, went down to the bottom. So I guess what I'll do is I'll modify this a little bit. You know they're not gonna be on the surface. They're gonna seek dark, so this, this particular one went down beneath here. As long as they got somewhere to go, which is over there, we just do this for a little while. I guess there's faster ways. I, I don't know. But I usually do about 30 other chores instead of filming a video for YouTube. Uh, while this is going on, I come back and, well, it is pretty much empty. Well, there's another one, dang it. Well, the point is, little by little by little, I expose the worms until they get to the dark, scrape out the dirt, and then begin the process on the other side, putting over here some new fresh dirt without any worms in it. Now, ain't this fun? So next week, we'll show you what happens when you use the worm castings with your uh, newly planted seeds, because uh, here we are in the middle of March. Uh, I'll plant some seeds in some regular 
dirt with some amended uh, fertilizer, maybe some steer manure. And then I'll show you seeds that are planted in just this stuff with a little bit of native soil. And uh, hopefully we'll see a difference. I, this is a lot of work. If that doesn't work. To all you out there that uh, have already planted, because it's mid-March, I am forever loyal and devoted to you. I, I just couldn't do it. Until next time, we're having fun.